I encourage you not to lose hope in Ghana and Africa because it's far more useful to look forward into the future with hope than to brood over the present desperate situation. I'm an eternal optimist and a believer in the potential and positive energies of Africa and her young people. In, the ne in December next year, what I consider to be the most important election in Ghana's history will be held. The electioneering period will offer a scope for deeper discussions about Ghana's future and what needs to be done to get us out of the current economic quagmire and to avoid a recurrence in future. We in the opposition in Ghana are very clear on our vision for the country and how to build the Ghana we want. The first order of business for a new NDC administration will be to restore macroeconomic stability and ensure fiscal prudence while generating employment for many of our young people who are unsure of what the future holds for them. Though the current economic distress is largely self-inflicted, it is very clear that unless we act to insulate ourselves from these factors, whatever gains that are made going forward will unravel because of the existing structural weaknesses. The National Democratic Congress, the NDC, which is my party, therefore commits itself to immediate structural reforms based on a national dialogue and forging a broad national consensus that will lead to the diversification of our economy and its production base and the attraction of investment into industry, farming, agribusiness, the digital sector, and tourism. We are determined to process our natural resources like cocoa, gold, bauxite, oil, copper, while we build more robust capacity to respond to global energy shocks. I invite you to look favorably at Ghana again because there is hope ahead. I also urge you to partner Africa as we confront the challenges posed by climate change, emerging disease, terrorism, and cybercrime in order to build a safer world. Our borders are borderless because of globalization. Therefore, we must stand in support of one another. As we look into the near future with optimism, there are instant solutions that must be found to the crippling economic crisis which has left a dark pall hanging over Ghana now. At a continental level, I want to reiterate my international advocacy for re a reinstitution and extension of the Debt Service Suspension Initiative, the DSSI, to afford countries like ours some li limited fiscal respite. I will similarly call for an expansion of the common framework for debt treatments beyond DSSI to help African countries access debt restructuring tools and mechanisms. I've also had calls to state elsewhere, and I'll repeat that the same, that the time has come for an African version of the Marshall Plan. I note and applaud the Global Gateway Program of the European Union that seeks to mobilize over 300 billion euros over the next seven years for infrastructure in Africa and the rest of the developing world.